Good, beautiful evening, everyone. We are coming to you from beautiful Maryland. We are here at the Owens Creek Campground in Catoctin Mountain Park, which is one of our favorite things because it's part of the National Park Service, technically. Yes, this is NPS land we are on. How exciting is that? Now, I have camped here before. I camped down in Site 1 in 2014. I camped up in site nine, two weeks before I gave birth to him. Last year, Teddy and I were here. So Teddy's camped in the park before. We were over at Misty Mount in a cabin. But this is his first time at Owens Creek. Well, first time outside of my belly. So he's excited to be here. We are in site six. And we're gonna kick it off and Teddy's gonna give you a little site tour. So you guys know what to do. Yeah. Grab yourselves. A tasty treat. And balance your toys and keep your hands, arms, knees, and legs inside the dog at all times. Awesome. Let's go. Let's go. go. I'm going to show you the door part. Watch for your aim. There you go. So, this is the tent pad. If you have a much bigger tent, you can use that tent pad. Even not those mega mansion tents. They want them all on the so not bad. Oh, be careful, honey. You're going to get chip all busted up <laughs> and dirty. So let's not do that. <laughs> so not bad. 538. We pulled in here. Uh, so probably an hour ago, we've done potty breaks times two because Teddy had to go twice. Once for one, once for the other. So he's been up twice. Um, it was nice to kind of set the tent up tonight without having... A lot of stress. No rain, no wind. At Seawall, it was like really hot and we were in a hurry to get it set up so that we could go do other stuff. So really, and I, this is my now fourth time putting it up. So I really am starting to get the gist of it. So this is kind of the side I sleep towards. There's two side doors and I'm going to have, I might close the flap all the way tonight. I don't know yet. Teddy wants his on his side closed, but um, sleeping pads and sleeping bags all ready to go. Again, if you saw my video from the state park we were at last night in Pennsylvania, I bought just a cheap sleeping pad to get by with because I was buying some other gear like I bought Teddy's pad. I had just bought the tent. I bought my big Agnes chair, which is actually out tonight. Last night I went to film it and realized I was sitting in it. So... That was kind of pricey, but I think it's going to be well worth it. I do end up liking it. Oh, You're going to put chip, chip in my chair? No, Chip's oh, now it. it's Chip's chair. And I have a new Jet Boil stove system, the Genesis system, which I haven't even opened up yet to try. I'm hoping to try that maybe the next couple of nights in Shenandoah. I don't know yet. We will see. So, Lucy has been eating her dinner. Switching more to more kibble. And then um, smaller amounts of wet food because otherwise I'm finding I'm wasting a lot of wet food. She really likes her kibble more, it seems, lately. So going with more kibble, which is good because then I can control the amounts better. Since with wet food, I have no way to put it away if she doesn't use it. I don't have a cooler or, you know, RV or anything. So now a few minutes to kind of catch my breath. And then I think somebody's going to want Din Din. Which we just have some snacks we got at Walmart. Nothing major tonight. Mom, let's have rice. You want rice? I don't know that I'm going to do that tonight, honey. I think I'm going to do that tomorrow in Shenandoah because we should be pulling in a lot earlier than we did tonight. I don't want to get my stove going and have a problem and have it get dark on me in an hour. So I think we'll just do some of our finger foods tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And then maybe fire? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Up a date. I have Teddy on a hunt for roasting sticks. He did, you're okay, honey. I'll get you in just a minute. Lucy's like, oh, you're talking to the camera again. We'll go just a second. Teddy is on the hunt for roasting sticks. I have the fire going. And then, yeah, about time for Lucy to take her little leg stretch. I wanted to make sure I had this going it's first. It's getting a little bit dark because we're on the back side of the mountain here where we're going to get dark first so switch into the iphone to film the last little bits 
Teddy picked out these marshmallows, stuffed puffs, birthday cake filled marshmallow bites. So I'm gonna help him with a couple. He's decided to sit up here. That, it is kind of slanty by the fire. So I'm gonna have him have a marshmallow or two, and then I'm gonna start picking up some things because it is gonna get dark. So I wanna make sure what I need done before dark happens and I have like our headlamps out and all of that. All right, do you think it's cool enough? I think I'm right. Okay. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah? Wow. So a few tidbits about here. This is $30 a night, unless you have some kind of like senior pass, I think, or like, oops, be careful, or like a disability pass, um, then you'd get your 50% off. There is showers though. I was pretty excited about that. There is showers. Firewood is by donation. Some of it's a little wet though. Oh wait, I gotta go to the wider shot to show you. I'll get you another one in a minute. I just wanted to show you like Teddy brought this big log and I wanted to honor him by doing such hard work by and getting it on and trying to get it going. But I don't know. That wood is sizzling. So some of it is, I'd say, kind of wet. But it's doing the job. We're enjoying a campfire. And uh, you can't beat the price because it was by donation. And I mean, we did give a donation. But comparatively to the cost of wood out there, it, it's reasonable. So I'm just going to keep kind of babysitting it and token it and see what I could do to get that log that Teddy worked because that's a big log do you guys see the size of this log he carried down from the woodshed nice log all right would you like one more yeah. okay oh that's a cute picture you looking and Lucy looking this is kind of the same setup as you saw us last night he's relaxing to some kindle um I'm not sure about my pad but I'm sure it'll be fine as we go on. At least this this ground is softer than last night. Um, fire was kind of a flop. I, I feel bad. Teddy brought that big log back. And he was so cute carrying it back. But it really did kind of put a knife in the fire. But that's okay. I told Teddy, I said, think positively. That it was a very affordable fire tonight. We did get to enjoy it for a while. And we did get to roast marshmallows for him. So, overall... I didn't grab him socks. I don't think he'll need them tonight. So it got down to 42 at the state park we were at in northern Pennsylvania last night. And I don't think it's supposed to be anything like that here tonight. And his bag is really, really good anyway. But we're just kind of unwinding now. I don't know what time it is. Let me look. It is 734. So it's, we're kind of getting back on schedule, which is a good thing. I usually try to have him slowing down between seven and eight especially now that the daylight is dropping as well in the peak of the summer um and especially at big bend because big bend is so far west of the central time zone that it would get dark would come in really late so now that we're kind of in a more normal thing i'm trying to have him do from seven to eight is kind of slow down and unwind so that we're ready for kindle out lights out everything and just kind of chit chatting and praying and stuff before the final close eyes and go to sleep. But yeah, he's in love with Catoctin too. He's in love with Owens Creek Campground too. So I'm really happy. I'm happy he's had a good experience. We've been out walking around a ton. Um, tomorrow, before we go, we are going to go walk down to the old sawmill. It's just a little boardwalk that's here to do. And uh, maybe I'll include a few other things like the, where the visitor center is and all that. But yeah, going to be a great night. I'm, I'm so happy he loves tent camping. So proud. All right. Good night. I'll check in some more in the morning. So it's next day and I am up taking my first bathroom walk and there's nobody in here. So I thought I would show you that there is one shower stall and it is free. So and it is handicap accessible. And then it's, you know, a few stalls, regular stalls and sinks. There is a utility sink as well. So woman's side, men's side, utility sink. 
I'll kind of quietly take you for the walk back to our site. I actually slept in this morning. It's 6.45. I was up a little bit in the middle of the night. I had woken up, so I had checked my phone to see the temperature. It never dipped below 50 here. And uh, that's the site I stayed in when I was pregnant with Teddy. I don't know if I said that last night. I don't know if I filmed last night or not up here. Hi, Mr. Blue Jay. But, uh, yeah, I was up once in the middle of the night. Checked my phone to check the temperature and then decided I had, like, really good LTE hitting. So I'm like, I'm going to quickly edit my next vlog, which was day two of our drive. So I quickly edited that and saved it. Got it up onto YouTube. This is the woodshed. And so that was nice. Then I went back to sleep. I was only really up for not even an hour. And so total, going to bed at 8 o'clock until now, that's a lot of sleep for me. Wow, my body must be relaxing. I heard a really cool mockingbird in the middle of the night. I heard a deer walk through our site. I heard coyotes off in the distance. So as you can see, it is kind of a downhill walk. And forgive me if I'm repeating anything I said yesterday. I've just woke up. I'm not, I haven't really looked back through files. We were in site one. I bet I did say that too yesterday. Anyway, forgive me if I'm repeating. I'm going to go make coffee. <sighs> Making coffee now. I took Lucy for a walk so she could do her business. So we went for a nice little walk. Teddy has evidently gone back to sleep. That's good. He needs his rest. Uh, yeah, I had already kind of filled you in that I, I slept pretty good. It was nice to hear that. Mock and I was so hoped I was going to hear an owl. And I never once heard an owl. And I couldn't believe Lucy hardly budged when all those coyotes were yipping in the distance. She must have. And she didn't really budge me to get out of the tent early to go potty either. So she must have been really having a good night's rest as well. The only ding is, like you hear traffic right now. I could hear traffic off and on all night. Um, That's my only kind of ding <laughs> not a place you expect to hear traffic all hours of the night and and I could oh sorry the sun is coming as you can see there's the east <laughs> if you want to know your directions and then there's a generator person but they they've abided generator rules they were off by like nine last night and they didn't kick in until seven this morning so see a kid already up there riding a bike up along the back road to the bathroom but yeah, it really was overall a great night. It's been a great stay. I'm going to have coffee. Been drinking that, for instance, and it's not bad. Eh, not bad at all, really. Actually, the last couple mornings, I didn't even add sweetener or anything to it. It was fine. But I saw this yesterday at the grocery store, so I thought, eh, I might want something to change it up. And then I know I'll have plenty on hand because I was trying to get especially like dry goods like that that don't perish i was trying to get a good haul to get to the next paycheck so figured don't want to run out of coffee so i'm gonna try that instant see how i like that this morning teddy is up he's gone to use the bathroom he asked for his coat boy it's a good thing we got you that nice ll bean coat huh yeah it has kept you nice and warm the past couple of days of camping huh lucy's decided now she's gonna work on some more gibbles I took her for another walk. So she's had a few walks this morning already. I did my daily check-in post in the Teddy's Tribe Facebook group. Really late. Usually I have that post up sometimes right around 4 a.m. This morning I'm just running late, but it's not a bad thing, is it, Teddy? We slept really good. And Teddy's enjoying a mandarin orange. Mandarin, not really, clementine. I don't know what you call them, the little tiny oranges. We, cuties. cuties, yes. A cutie for a cutie, huh? 
Is that what it is? Is a cutie for a cutie? Mm -hmm. Lots of nice cardinal sounds this morning, blue jay sounds, a lot of happy birds. But I'm running out of battery fast because I did. I knew I was risking battery when I got up in the middle of the night and edited, but it had to be done. And I'm glad I did because now we're down to 5G. So if you are camping here, and I don't know, it depends on your carrier too. I have Cricket. And I can't remember if they hit off Verizon or AT&T. Anyway, I had really lightning fast LTE in the middle of the night. And then this morning I'm back down to like 5G and just kind of average. But I mean, most people probably aren't trying to do the same kind of work I'm doing from a campground. But you could do your average, you know, surfing, web, email, all that. So I'm going to enjoy a few snacks too. And then we were going to... Before we pick up the tent, go down and see the sawmill. So I'm going to try to hope I have enough battery for that. So I'm going to end now and power down so I can save some battery for that. And then we will say goodbye. A little side note, you probably wonder why we're sitting in the tent pad. Because it's the only really flat spot. His chair is not quite as bad as mine. But like last night when I tried to have the chairs down by the fire pit... As you can see, that log never did go. It went, it was out. It was well out before we even went to bed. I wouldn't have left it unsafe. Uh, the chairs were, it just was too slanty. So that is a problem with those backpacking type style chairs. Really need a flat surface. But do you want something else like a raspberry bar or? A raspberry bar. Okay. I went to grab fig bars for us. We're doing raspberry this trip at this grocery haul. I forgot I had gotten Teddy some blueberry muffins. <laughs> I went pawing around in the bags there because I never did finish really organizing it last night. I was like, oh my gosh, Teddy, wouldn't you rather have a muffin? I had bought these to be used up first. Mm -hmm. Wow. I can't believe I almost forgot them. <sighs> so there, breakfast is done. We are packed up and Teddy actually successfully took a shower. I'm really proud of him because he's still pretty much primarily a bath type kid. But it was a nice big shower, as I showed you this morning. And it really did work well for both of us to get in there, get good showers. And then we come out, and of course the maintenance crew was here doing rounds. So we stopped and chit-chatted. Teddy loves that. When he sees people with that arrowhead patch on their uniform, he likes stopping and saying, Hey, is just like Daddy. Unfortunately, though, it's now 10 o'clock. And I've lingered so long that there's people down here at the sawmill site. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film, but I did promise Teddy I would bring him down and run him around through it. So I'm going to try to film a little bit for you. But if I don't, that is why, because it sounds like there's a really large family running around enjoying it. So, but promise is a promise. So I'm going to try and doesn't say no pets allowed. So we're going to roll with it and take a little walk down. I'm going to at least film the top part of it here so you can see. It's called the Old Sawmill Site. This exhibit has been built on the actual site where a vertical or up and down sawmill operated in the 1800s. Excavation work in the 1970s indicates that the sawmill straddled the pit and water to turn the mill wheel flowed through the race to a pond on Owens Creek. The Sawyer's home stood on the hillside where the campground is now located, which reminds me, I didn't show you, there is an old stone wall that goes through our site, on the side of our site. Remains of the house foundation and stone fence work are still evident, reminding us of this bygone era, which that's what I'm talking about, the stone fence work, stone rock walls, what we call it up in Maine. Please be careful and watch your footing as you explore the reconstructed sawmill exhibit. So there's this boardwalk that enters from here. There's also um, another end of it that enters from the park road down below. So we're going to, like I said, try to give it a try. But I don't know with Lucy and with an excited Teddy and another family what we can see. But we'll go check it out, huh, Lucy? Let me take a picture of this too real quick. All right. Beautiful cardinal calling to us. And I'm not going to read every interp sign just for sake of controlling Lucy and keeping an eye on Teddy. 
Teddy's not shy. He's an extremely social person. And he just saw that their plates say Florida. So he's probably going to be all about, are you from Florida? But as you can see, there's several interp signs. Like there's more down here from this overlook. Lucy, come. Lucy, forward. Good girl. Yes, it is. See, a really, really good signage. So... My friend Chris Kimball in Florida, he likes it when I'm showing that there's good interp on a trail. So here you go, Chris. Really good interp on this little side trail here. Really nice boardwalk. Forward. Good girl. Forward. She's like, there's lots to sniff, Mom. Forward. Good girl. Well, at least we're going to get to see the site. I think they've gone way down by the creek, and I don't know that I'm going down that far today. I just really wanted to see the sawmill site. Bird's nest. Please watch for footing due to uneven surface. Oh, and here it is. Now, like I said up above, this is reconstructed. So this is not original. Teddy, watch out, okay, honey? My grandfather Wyman had a sawmill on his farm. It was always cool growing up to watch them operate it. I've had to kind of wind up Lucy's leash a little bit to have her a little bit closer. Good sniffs, honey. I like watching Teddy observe it all. See how they would put the log through? And there's the saw blade right there. Did you see the saw blade? Yeah, your great-grandfather Wyman had a sawmill on his farm, honey. Yeah. Let's walk this way, Lucy, a little bit. I'm not going all the way down, sweetie. Kind of walking around a little bit, wanted to give you another angle view of the sawmill. Looking down there, too. Really cool. I told Teddy, we'll walk down just a little bit. But... It's not that far. Oh, wait a minute, Teddy. I think that's a ranger tour. Yeah, we'll turn around, honey. I don't want to interrupt the ranger tour. Yeah. I, pretty big group down there for it to be just that family. So I think maybe there's a ranger tour going on and maybe people entered from the other end. So I don't want to interrupt that with a, a dog and everything in tow. So we're going to, we saw a pretty good little amount of it. We're going to head back to the site and close it out. <laughs> this is so cute. Teddy's like, well, I should do a junior ranger program. <laughs> and I said, actually, technically you have. You did one with Daddy two years ago when we had gone to Maine for Daddy to work at Acadia for a while. And he's like, oh, I already did it. But sometimes, hey, he doesn't remember. We won't do it this time. But he was quite young when he did that one. So I think next visit we'll do one. I think he liked this enough. He's like, can we come back? And I'm like, absolutely. Next visit, we might schedule two nights here. And we can have a little more time to do some of the trails. I always say that. I always say I need two nights at Catoctin because there's really a lot of cute little things to do here. They do have a little amphitheater here. Teddy was up performing his own play last night when we were down here. And I'm assuming probably only in summer season and only on weekends, I'm assuming, probably, because it is a very small park unit. All right, Teddy, just a few minutes and then we'll wrap it up, honey, and we'll close it out. Also wanted to touch base on the board. So they have some neat things down here. They do have a little pamphlet about Owens Creek, which I'm gonna grab for his scrapbook. And here is for the trails on this side. Here's a look at the park map. 
as you can see, it is a very small park unit. There's a state park nearby too. Mark and I actually stayed at that state park on our honeymoon. Cunningham Falls State Park, part of the Maryland State Park Service. We enjoyed our stay there. Sometime I'll have to take Teddy there too. If I remember right, there was a nice beach there. So if it's ever swim season. Um, I wanted to also talk about, they do have some programs. Like here, there's dates of when there's a blacksmith demonstration. Oh, here's a list of the campfire programs. So they have like a couple, like maybe every other week. So a couple of months. So yeah, there's one coming up this weekend. So it isn't just, it is seasonal, but it's very limited during seasonal. Be bear aware. What is wavy leaf? Huh. Wavy leaf basket grass is newly discovered invasive ex exotic plant asking for help. Huh. Interesting. So if you see sightings, like anything invasive like that, they usually give a number to report, sometimes an email, text, snap a picture at saying, try to give, you know, your best idea of where it is. Be bear aware. Poison ivy. Also the spotted lantern fly. I found a dead one on the picnic table today and that's invasive too. If you see it, snap a photo, squash it and report it. I didn't snap a photo though, but I should report it. Okay, and here's the campground map too I wanted to show you. It is an extremely small campground, but wonderful. We've really enjoyed our stay. Before we close it out, I have to show you what Teddy did this morning while I was packing up. He wanted note paper and his note, his clipboard, and he wrote me this. He still has a little trouble remembering which way W's go and which way M's go. So it's Teddy to wow. It's supposed to say Teddy to mom. Um, but that is still so super sweet. And I will be putting that in the scrapbook because that is just adorable. He sat actually at the site next door yelling up to me. He knew how to spell Teddy and two all by himself. And then he asked me how to spell mom. And then he asked me how to do an I love you. And it's so cool. He, I mean, his heart almost looks like a hidden Mickey. Teddy, your heart on this note looks like a hidden Mickey, sweetie. Did you do that on purpose? No, but you did a good job of it. And that is just, oh, and he wrote it. This is awesome. He was in site five when he did it. So he wrote the mailbox number for site five. Oh, that, that is just precious. That is a thing of beauty right there. I, I'm definitely preserving that. And with that, that's a good note to close it out on. I've already got Lucy in the car. I can click it out here a minute. And then I have to put the towel away, the footprints on the other side of the car dry, and then I gotta put dirty laundry away and put my sneakers on, and then we will be ready to roll. So, sir, how would you rate this campground out of a 10? We need a different system. 20, yeah, you really loved this one. Would you recommend this to other six-year-olds? Yes. Yes? So when I'm seven-year-olds, I'm going to there. Welcome to other seven-year-olds. Any other final thoughts before we say goodbye and send off to the next vlog? Well, Come closer, though, if you're going to speak, because I don't know if I'll well, pick the, you. Well, the campfire was great. It was the dice were clean. You took a nice shower. Did you like the shower? What's the tip we learned today about solar showers? Be patient because they take a while for the hot water to come. I don't know if it was solar or on demand. I, I think the way it acted, it was an on demand hot water system. So I taught Teddy. Oh, good. You can see behind Teddy, there's the stone wall, remnants of the stone wall that was here when the house was here. All right, he's going to wander out of shot here pretty soon, so I'm going to turn it around. Peace and love, gang. Keep it dancing. And keep it the guys. And hey, what's next? You never know what the yes next. <gasps> See you next time. Da la da la 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 da la 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 da la 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 da la 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 da la la Awesome. Thank you. Have a blessed day, everyone. We'll see you on that next adventure.